Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song called Epiphany by BTS, okay? So it's pretty awesome stuff. I'll be teaching you two sections in this lesson. First section is the instrumental section that plays at the start and also at the verse. Second section I'm going to teach you is the awesome chorus section. I'll give you a preview of both sections so you know what to expect, okay? Here we go, it goes like this. And then repeats. So that's that, and then the other section is the awesome chorus section that goes like this, okay? Repeats. to it so I really like the chorus it's really nice here we go anyway so let's learn the uh, instrumental section first really easy for the instrumental section because the right hand is playing two notes repeatedly so plays uh, E C so middle C C okay so E C for eight times it's two three four five six seven eight and that's it that's it, okay? So you, all you need to do is play E, C for eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, once you've got that into your um, mind for the right hand, left hand, we have three chords here. The three chords are B flat major, which is B flat D, F. Second chord is D minor, which is D, F, A. And third chord is C major, which is C, E, G. Okay, so with these three chords in mind, so B flat major, D minor, and C major, Two hands together goes like this E and B flat major together, so it's together. And then the next E and D minor together. And then next E and C major together. Two, three, four. And it's repeated, okay? So all you need to do is, okay, uh, basically, the first two chords is played with the right hand for four, those four notes each. It's like one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. And the last one is for eight times. One, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's that one more time. So it's together, two, three, four, together, two, three, four, together, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, repeat. Okay, and that's it. Yeah, all you need to do is repeat that section, and there you have it. Pretty easy and like nice. Okay, but anyways, here we go. Let's learn the awesome chorus section, my favorite section. Okay, so let's break this up into two parts so it's easier to learn here. Okay, let me see. Uh... Okay, in fact, never mind. Let's even break it even more. Let's break it up to four parts. It's super easier to learn. So the first part of the four parts, right hand starts on the high A here, middle C, go up an octave C, go to the A, that's where we start. So A up to C, A, G, F, A up to C, A, and that is the first part for the right hand. Okay, one more time for this first part, so it goes like this. A, C, A, G, F, A, C, A, and that's it for the right hand for the first part. Okay, once you get the right hand there, left hand, we have one chord here, the one chord is F major seven, this is a four note chord, F, A, C, E. Okay, those are the notes for that, okay? So remember, F major seven. The two hands together goes like this, right hand starts first. After A, F major seven by itself. Right hand continues. And that's it for the first part. One more time, like this. Here. Like that. Okay. Moving on to the second part. Right hand continues. Goes F and then E, F, E, F, E, D. And that is the second part for the right hand. One more time. So it goes like this F, E, F, E, F, E, D. And that's it for the right hand for the second part. Once you get the right hand there, left hand, we have one chord here. The one chord is D minor 7, which is D, F, A, C. Okay. So with that D minor 7 by itself, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts, E and D minor 7 together. Like that. And that's the second part, one more time, like this. Together. Like that. Okay, back to back, the two parts of this section will be played like this. Check it out. Like that. Moving on to the third part, right hand continues, goes D, D, A, C, D, like that. Only five notes, easy. One more time. So it goes D, D, A, C, D, and that's it for the right hand. 
Once you get that left hand, we have one chord here. The one chord is B flat major seven, which is B flat D F A. So with that four note chord in mind, the turn together goes like this. Right hand starts first. At C and B flat major seven together. Like that. One more time, so it goes like this. Together. Like that. And that's the third part. Back to back, the three parts we've learned so far will be able to play like this. Check it out. Here. Like that. Moving on to the fourth and last part before it repeats. Right hand continues, it goes D, D, C, E, F, G, G. Like that for the right hand. Easy stuff. Okay, one more time. So it goes like this. D, D, C, E, F, G, G. And that's it for the right hand. Once you get that right hand there for the fourth part of the left hand, we have one chord here, the one chord C major, C, E, G. Okay, so with that C major chord in mind, the turn together goes like this. Right hand starts first, E and C major together. Like that. Okay, one more time, like this. And that's it. Yeah, back to back, the four parts will be played like this. Check it out, so it goes like this. Repeat it. Like that. Okay, and that's it. So, after you get the both sections very good, all the notes correct, melody, chords, and also the rhythm, then you can start adding improvisational patterns to it, okay? There's not much stuff you can really, uh, uh, Put for the first section. The first section sounds good as it is. Like that. Okay, you can add some left hand arpeggios. Yeah, okay, it's up to you. Okay, but anyways, the other section is more better. Uh, the, I want to correct, the second section, the chorus section, because it's like the climatic part of the song, okay? So you can add more of these kind of like arpeggio patterns plus harmonies on the right hand, okay? To make it thicker in texture. You can be like... Two times you play it, you can also finish off with the da 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 and then F again. So you just end up with that phrase, just like how the original kind of sounds like as well. So with that extra da 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 da, that kind of thing. Okay, but anyways, yeah, pretty fun theme. Uh, well, I guess fun two sections to play because once you actually learn the first section, you can actually like play for the intro, and also if you uh, the if you also sing with it, you can actually just play those uh, chords and sing with it for the verse because it's actually the same chord progression if you haven't realized okay but anyway so yeah you can try that out and then at the chorus you can sing or you can play what i just taught you okay if you don't want to uh, play the melody you can just play the chords stuff okay but anyway yeah that's pretty much it so have fun with this song for yourself a lot of stuff for you to try out also if you like bts songs and want to learn it i have a lot of my bts uh tutorials on this channel so go ahead you can just search up your favorite bts song uh and then type amos doll at the end of the search and you can find it okay so just something like i don't know like bts dna amos doll and right? search it up on the search button and he's like oh yeah, there it is, okay? But anyway, try that out, okay? Also, check out the rest of my channel. Literally, I have multiple thousands and thousands of other videos for you to enjoy and learn from. Also, check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below. If you want to learn more piano from me, learn how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, and a lot of other stuff, okay? But anyway, that's pretty much it. Enjoy time around my channel, and see you next time. 
Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.